Creepers, this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations and I'm here today to show you how I did this card with the two-step stamping and how to use our stamp -a jig This is a tool that Stampin' Up! sells in our catalog and it helps align stamps when you have a dual image. Um, when we stamp this flower, we stamp at the base and then right over the top of it we stamp the details. So in order to get one to line up right over the other, I used our stamp -a jig so I could get perfect alignment. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a piece of plastic that comes with the stamp -a jig. And what I'm going to do is line the plastic up into the corner of the tool. And then I'm gonna open up my ink. And I'm gonna ink up my stamp and I'm gonna put the block right into the corner of the tool and stamp straight down onto the plastic. And that's gonna give me this image. Then I can go to the cardstock where I had pre-stamped the base image. And then I can line up over the top exactly where I want that image to be placed so that it will give me all the detail I'm looking for. Then I take my tool again and I line it up in the corner. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the plastic away, ink up my stamp again, and I'm gonna line up in the tool and go straight down. And that's gonna give me my perfect placement. For my colors here, I used the crisp cantaloupe, and then I used Calypso coral. And that was so I could show you the, the detail a little more vivid. In my example for my paper players card, I'd use crisp cantaloupe and then crisp cantaloupe again. Another thing you can try doing is using the crisp cantaloupe, stamping it off once and then onto the cardstock so it's a little bit lighter and then doing your detail. But anyway, however you do it, you have your base image and then your detail. And that's called two-step stamping. I then stamp the flower onto posty note and it's kind of sticky on the back so that I can place it right over the top and mask off the image I already stamped. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take our flower, or the, the leaves that go with that flower and then I'm going to do two-step stamping again. I'm going to start off with pear pizzazz. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my leaves like they're coming out from behind the flower. And then I'm going to take my detail and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line up my plastic in the corner. I'm gonna take my second color, I'm gonna place it down and get my detail stamp. Then I'm gonna line it up, align my tool, take the plastic away, and then stamp the detail. Let's do that on the second set of leaves. Then when I take the post-it note away, the leaves look as if they're coming from behind the flower. So there you have it. You have two techniques. You have the masking technique, two-step stamping, and how to use your stamp -a jig Of course, all of these can be purchased on my website, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Bye.